Hey, you doing everyone? Greetings and welcome back to the basement. So as promised, what we're going to do today is Batari Basic. Now, as I said to you a little while ago, I am crap at programming. I've never been any good at it. And this here is an Atari 2600, which is notorious for being one of the most difficult systems to program on. So what we have is somebody who's no good at programming and a system that's very hard to program for. So how are we going to pull off this feat? Well, back in 2005, a guy called Fred Quimby, he wrote an interpreter that he called Batari Basic. And what it does is it lets somebody like me learn kind of simple basic commands and write them out and then pass them through the compiler, which will turn them into complex machine code that the Atari can understand. So it's kind of like a translator between me and the Atari so that I can make the Atari do what I want it to do. Now, basically the way I found it was I went on the internet and I tapped in Batari Basic and did a search. And I'll put a link to the GitHub site down below, but you can get Batari Basic pretty much for Windows, for the Mac, and for Linux. But in today's episode, we're not actually going to be doing any kind of Atari Basic stuff at all because the very first step in designing a game is to actually design it. To have a think about it, to see what you want to do. And what I decided was I'm going to use Bob, the hedge octopus that's been adorning the wall here for the last, well, since Christmas more or less, as the protagonist in this game. So this is going to be our player character. And Bob's origin story is that pretty much one evening I came home from work and everybody in the, in the house was making crepes. Now crepes, if you don't know, are kind of really thin, posh French pancakes. But they're not all that hard to make. But anyway, the batter was made and pancakes were being made. And I said, hey, I'd like to try one of them. So I took the hot pan and I poured a little bit of batter on it. And instead of getting a nice kind of round, crepey, pancakey form on the on the pan, what I got was this here. Now, when it happened, I looked at it and I called my son Louis over and I said, hey, Louis, Louis, come here, have a look at this. What does that look like to you? And he said, well, it looks like a crap crap that you made. I said, yeah, it does. But look, it's kind of got a nose and an eye and kind of spikes. I said, it looks a little bit like a hedgehog. I said, actually, you know, it does. And I said, not only that, but look, it kind of has tentacles looks like it was melded with an octopus. He said, yeah, yeah, it does. He said, I'm going to take a photo of it. And I said, okay, well, you know, whatever, like. And unbeknownst to me, he sent that photo to his girlfriend. Now, his girlfriend, her main hobby, what she really likes to do is art. She loves drawing and all that kind of stuff, and she's very good at it. And as a Christmas present to me, she offered me this penciled picture of Bob, the potentacled hedge octopus. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, she did it in about 20 minutes. And to give her juice, she said to me, she said, you know, I didn't know you were going to hang it on the wall and have it in your videos. And had I known, I'd actually would have done a better one for you. But there you go. This here is, is what we're going to use as our protagonist. So, um, yeah, basically what we're going to do is over the course of the next couple of episodes, we're going to first of all look at our player sprite. So this here is pretty much what I got going on this so far. Now, it was Louie to give him his due, that designed this sprite stuff that you see here. And Louis also did the 8 Bits in the Basement intro that I haven't been using for the last few episodes, but that intro, that was his work as well. But he designed this stuff here for me. So what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to start with our player sprite. What I want to do is, in very much the same way as I put this skeleton on the screen and I have him moving around here and a little bit animated, what I want to do is I want to put Bob on screen with his tentacles moving. And we'll look at joystick commands to make him look left, right, and up and down. So basically the first step is to get a sprite on screen that we can control. Now after that, we're gonna to have to look at enemy sprites because every game needs something to try and stop us from achieving our goal in the game to kind of make the game fun. So as well as that, we're gonna to have to look at play fields, which is what, um, screens are called on the Atari 2600. So I would imagine, seeing as we're using a kind of hedgehog with tentacles here, we're going to have a play field that's a garden. And in that garden, there's going to be a pond. And that way we have a hedgehog that can walk around collecting stuff or avoiding things or whatever he needs to do. We haven't figured that out yet. And from time to time, he can jump into the pond 
and he'll have a reason to have tentacles and use these tentacles in the water. So um, there's a lot to be done. We've got sprites to look at, we've got play fields to look at, we've got collision detection, we've got all kinds of logic within the game because the non-controlled player characters like the second sprite, third sprite or whatever we have as enemies are going to have to be able to kind of track us or to move around and that kind of thing. So there's a lot to learn, there's a lot to do. But we'll take it in small little bite-sized kind of chunks. So um, this is just to let you know what's happening, to let you know I'm doing this and it's not just an idea I had not kind of flipped into the nothing at all, you know, kind of thing. So keep an eye out. Very, very soon there's going to be part one, the true part one of this Batari basic -y thing, where we'll have a look at putting our sprite on screen and having them move around. So until then, take good care of yourselves and we'll talk to you very, very soon. See you then. Bye bye.